Hello everyone, uh, Ricky Dizuba here. We are back in Chikara once again. This is our final Wrestle Factory show before we um before we finish off season thirteen <laughs> season season twelve. This is this would be oh no wait yeah no season twelve is the start of thirteen season thirteen was Ashes okay yeah so this is the end of our season thirteen Ashes storyline. Just about, um, we'll blow that. Well, the actual ending is next month, of course. Uh, last time, if you don't remember, we had 3.0 beating the Young Bucks. Young Bucks two matches that night. Um, we've come eight shows in since Anniversario Never Compromise. Two of which, of course, were these double shots. This is for Campione's thing. And now, tonight, we are going to just continue on, continue some storylines. And just have general build up toward the um the show. I've not written much promos for tonight because I can be bothered with explaining there's any story bits. This is a bit of a lazy episode to be honest, just because it's a go home show. So our opener, Jakob Hauermeyer teams with the Batiri to take on the BDK team of Tursus, Ares, or Ares, I should say, Pinky Sanchez and Tim Donst. Again, you know, they have the continuous stuff of um Jakob getting called home by the BDK, just telling them, telling him to stop siding with Chikara and all that kind of stuff, and that the fans are just going to betray him. But um, they're all just shouting at Jakob constantly. But at the end of the match, then Tim Donst, Jakob Hammer's former, well, Jakob thought he was his best friend. You know, he Jakob kind of goes on his knees in front of him and just t begs him to stop doing this. Donst, Donst almost shows mercy for him, which he never has in the past before. Um. Ares yells at him in German and Donston takes out Jakob with the Donstitution to pick up the win for his team. That's just for that story then. Um, so back in black, of course, we're going to be doing Jakob versus a member of the BDK who will be revealed at a later date. 25v plus is a decent match. Ooh, it's very good. Um, in a match that's soldered in, so um, Lyrius comes out before the match, just cuts another incoherent promo. Calling out any member of the Spectral Envoy to come fight him, any of Mantis Black's friends. And it's, he just kind of taught Mr. Zero, of course, Ultra Mantis Black's best friend. I think Mantis was his best man in his wedding, you know, all that kind of stuff. And um, Mr. Zero is his original tight team partner, too, in Ultra Zero at the very, very start of Chikara, pretty much. Um, and so, yeah, Delirious just. Toys with him basically for the first while. He eventually, um, eventually the Ultramantis Black comes down to the ring. The referee's distracted, gives Delirious the cosmic doom. And Mr. Zero follows it up with the last shave and unicorn drop to um, pick up the victory for himself. 45D also for his storyline. They have great chemistry, which is good. No skill improvements or anything. Uh, was penalized for content risk being low. 37D minus Commander Nukai comes out at the start of this just after that match. You know, he says he wants Delir he wants Amosis to make his decision to come over to his side or not. Amosis comes out, kicks him, you know, just all that <laughs> kind of stuff, and then you go right into the matchup. Amosis versus Commander Nukai. Uh, it's back and forth, but it comes pretty clear Commander Nukai isn't a professional wrestler, he's just a general. Uh, and Amosis gives him the twist of funk. Gives him the victory, and uh, afterwards, you know, he's sure to get Ophidian that Anukai isn't as powerful as he seems, he doesn't have to side with him. But Ophidian just shakes his head and leaves with Anukai. Oof. We're in some good ratings for some of these tag matches. Uh, then, in a match that had average crowd reaction, decent in reaction, Trip I know defeat the Swarm. And, uh, you know, again, the Swarm, though, look very dangerous. They're just targeting individual body parts, working them over for the whole match, just going after them, trying to injure 3.0 rather than win. But they catch them off guard with the sweet taste of professionalism, and that's it for them. And 3.0 now looks set to challenge Pieces of Hate at Back in Black. Ooh... It's a new best match ever again. I'm very happy with the work that the Young Bucks and them are doing. This was supposed to be Steen in the Bucks, but Steen wouldn't work for us. So we see here, 
Good crowd, good action. Icarus and the Spectral Envoy, or Team Ashes, defeated Adam Cole and the Young Bucks, Mount Rushmore, when Icarus defeats Mike Jackson with pinfall with the wings of Icarus. Um, just the the um, Ring of Honor team you see here, they're just basic um, anti Chikara heels that Chikara does the whole time. They just they're just doing the suck it and all that and making fun of the crowd and making fun of Icarus and the masks and stuff like that. Like, just say they'll come out. I liked when um Steen did the thing where he came out in the Transformers masks, so they're all gonna just come out in like Halloween masks, making fun of them for their gimmicks and stuff like that. And uh, in the end, though, just a finisher spam on Martin Jackson gets it for the Chikara side. 70C plus is... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> 70C plus, very good rating. Uh, so Icarus celebrates in the ring with the Envoy. Of course, um, I forgot to mention, in the last match, Eddie Kingston comes through the back door and he's just standing in the back of the room the whole time for the whole match. Uh, Icarus celebrates in the ring. Eddie Kingston looks almost amused. From elsewhere, there's a disturbance and someone who we haven't seen in years hits the ring, Jimmy Olsen. You know, Olsen grabs a mic. Um, Icarus, guys, if you wouldn't mind, I've got some business to attend to. And the truth, they all of them nod and get out of the ring. And Kingston also leaves. He shows some interest in saying to watch. A few weeks ago, we all witnessed a monster come down here and take out my brother Colin. And no one has done anything to stop it from happening again. But I'm drawing the line. Cerberus, get down here right now. Olsen removes his Ashes shirt and Trip Martini... <laughs> we have to show the Ashes shirts, of course. Uh, Trip Martini steps out from the back in front of the giant general, but Olsen doesn't let Trip speak, charges up the ramp, strikes Trip, knocks him down before Cerberus drops him with a huge right hand. Cerberus continues st striking at him and stuff, and then he drags his limp forty down the ramp, sets him up for the swinging backbreaker that he used to take out Colin and Shane Storm. And things are looking bleak. Cerberus comes in for the kill move. Icarus, Hollow Wicked Frightmare, returns to the ring. Kid, Kid Cyclone right behind him. All guns ablaze. The four of them manage to get Cerberus down off the top rope. They, they're all just attacking him, spamming their punches and kicks and stuff. And then he get over, over the top rope. He doesn't go down. He just hits the floor on his feet and marches out of the arena. Seeing his opportunity is gone. He doesn't even go back for truth or anything. And the four men celebrate in the ring as Icarus grabs the microphone. Icarus then, the journey has come to an end. Ashes has achieved the goal. Next month at the ECW Arena, Shakara is back in black. And we've never been better. See you all there. 41D, and that will close out the show. That's pretty much the end of the Ashes arc, and we will now finish that off next month. We have season 13 finale. Uh, we're going to just congratulate the Young Bucks and Adam Cole on a great performance, because they have all been very impressive in their appearances. Um, yeah, so our next show, where I'm back, will be Back in Black, live and paid for you, season 13 finale. And um, I'm not sure if I might take a break from this series for a while to go do something else in TEW. Um, I'll have my decision made up next time. But that could be the last Chikara video for a while before I head... Like, then I'll come back for season 14 and that kind of stuff, which I have the off-season. Of course, though, the headline of Back in Black, well, the main event is going to be Eddie Kingston defending his Chikara Grand Championship against Icarus for the, first, for the second time. Of course, we saw... Our very first episode of the series, it was um, Chikara Anniversario Never Compromise. Which you see here, Icarus draws with Eddie Kingston after the interference from the t conglomerate men. And the curtain fell in the Trocadero, of course. It's a dark day for Chikara, which led to the whole Ashes arc and all that stuff happening. But yeah, we'll be back next month. Yeah, this is the back of black card. So we have um, 17, the Shard and Jigsaw. The Gekido taking on the Batiri. We have the points with points on the line, 4-way Eliminator. Troop and taking on the Wrecking Crew. Taking on the BDK team of Auris and Tersus. Taking on the Throwbacks. Uh, Amasa's team with Sat to take on Ophidian and Commander Inukai. Chuck Taylor taking on Equinox Tree. Eddie Kingston defending the Grand Championship against Icarus. Gran Akuma taking on Juan Francisco de Coronado. Kid Cyclone taking on Pinky Sanchez of the BDK. The Colony taking on the Colony Extreme Force. The Spectral Envoy taking on the Devastation Corporation. Tim Dons taking on Jakob Hammermeyer. And Ultramantis Black taking on Delirious. And you see there. 
Ah, uh, we've been making good profits. This save is actually going quite well. And now, anyway, I will see you guys next time for the Season 13 finale of The Ashes of Chikara.